Welcome back for another beer experience. I'm Kevin with Crafty Beer. And by beer experience, I mean I'm going to enjoy this craft beer and just tell you what I think about it. And what do we have for today's beer experience? Well, we've got a... a sticky IPA. Today's IPA or India Pale Ale comes from D9 or District 9 Brewing in Cornelius, North Carolina. They were started in 2014 and their motto or one of the sayings they have is they want to science the shit out of beer. So you always get an interesting um, beer from them. There's a um, beer that they have that they call the Brewer's Day Off, I think, that I had recently that I actually have gone out and bought a couple times because I enjoyed it so much. I believe it was... Um, brewed with cantaloupe and cucumber. Um, so I, I reviewed that, I think, already. So this is an IPA. It's a sticky IPA. And you're asking, well, what is a sticky IPA? A sticky IPA is, I have no idea. I guess we're going to find out. So this is the cryonic sticky India pale ale. So cryonics is the study of low temperatures. So I'm not sure what cryonics have to do with a sticky India pale ale. If you know what a sticky IPA is, leave me a comment because I have no idea. And so again, they um, the can says unquestionably original. So they do like to create beers that are um, cutting edge or pushing the edge of styles and, and what they use in them. So District 9 Brewing, um, Cryonics, Sticky Pale Ale can doesn't say much it's got a giant hop on the front and just simply says cryonic sticky India pale ale so not much to go on from the uh, can so I think we should get this out of the can into the glass and find out what a sticky IPA really is It's really clear. So for an IPA, this thing is almost like lager clear. A um, couple fingers of a white head, decent carbonation, um, really clear. You can I can really see through this thing. So an IPA is usually a little more hazy than this. An IPA is um, pale ale, which is hot, prominent, fairly bitter. Um, yeah, interesting, interesting clarity to this thing. So let's see what it smells like. Just a subtle fruit uh, smell to this. It's almost like just smelling cantaloupe. It's very subtle, like if I was smelling some fresh cut cantaloupe. That's the nose on this. And that's about it. Interesting. All right, let's give the uh, sticky IPA a taste here. Cheers. Okay, it's very one-dimensional. It's got a really good flavor, a little bit of bite to it, so it's a little little tart. But it's, I'm not sure what kind of fruit it would be, but it's as if I had had one piece of fruit. It's it's one-dimensional in the in the in the in the sense that it, it's not lots of different fruits. It's not a fruit melody. It's like one piece of fruit. So is it? I'm not sure if that's cantaloupe, but it's like one tart piece of fruit. A spicy fruit. I'm not sure what fruit, but a spicy fruit, not very complex, pretty pretty bitter, dry finish on it. 
but it's it's hard to place what kind of fruit but the, the interesting part is like I said the way I describe it is it's one dimensional not there's not a lot of different flavors swirling around in there it's like I'm eating this one piece of freshly cut slightly spicy fruit and then I eat that and the spice just stays with me on the back end of this and that's the way it ends Some type of melon. It's like a. In, I'm thinking like a green melon, a cantaloupe, or a green or a green ripe melon, with a little bit of a spicy bite to it, and that's it, it. Hits you up front, rides on through the whole thing, and finishes off, and leaves a little bit of a spicy, dried back end, and that's that's where it ends. Yeah, and the nose is like it's it it just matches it. It's that that spicy melon, fresh cut melon. It's 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 definitely like there's you know it's one fruit, not the whole bowl of fruit, not different fruits, not not a, a cornucopia of of melons. It's that one piece which I have no idea which melon, but it's that one spicy melon in a beer. So what's the sticky part? Is there a sticky melon? If there's a sticky melon, let me know, because maybe that's it. Not being able to place the fruit, I'm gonna just describe it as if you had this piece of fresh cut green melon with a little bit of spice to it that left that spicy on the back end. That's, that's what this tastes like, that's the flavor. Not sure that helped at all, but that's what I got. It's got the bite of a hop of a hopped beer, so it's it's you know an IPA. It's got the whatever the hops are that are in it have this melon uh, flavor to them. Very interesting, very good, very different. Have no idea what the sticky part means, but it it's a it's you know well done and it's a little bit different. So I give it credit for being um, a flavor that's very unique that I have not tasted before in any other IPA. All right, I like it. Ooh, when I left a little in the can so I get a refill. The Cryonic Sticky IPA, D9 Brewing. And I do that so that I have my Instagram photo. Let's head over to Untapped and check this in so I get credit for it. I went with the flavor profile hoppy, bitter, juicy, and melony, which perfectly describes the experience I'm having. If you know what the melon is in this, that, or the fruit that, that this reminds you of, let me know, it's kind of driving me crazy. So when I gave it a 3.75, I think that that, that one-dimensional um, melon flavor with that spice, um, is a really good deal. Um, some beers throw a lot of flavors into a mix and they work work great together and it's a story. But this this where it's like, hey, no, this is this is the, the flavor that we're giving you. It's this melon with the spice and that's what you get. Uh, really made a good experience for me. Yeah, so um, Cryonic Sticky India Pale Ale. If I didn't mention, it's a 7.2% ABV from D9 Brewing. I've had some of their stuff before and it's, um, it's, it's really good. Cryonic Sticky India Pale Ale. It's, um, if I didn't mention, it's 7.2% ABV. It, really well done. I've had a couple things now from uh, D9 and they do not disappoint. It's really, really um, interesting and well done and unique. So I'm going to finish uh, the rest of this and enjoy my sticky IPA. If you've had it, by all means, please tell me what you thought of it in the comments. If you want to find me on Untapped, it's Crafty Beer. And until the next beer experience, I'm Kevin with Crafty Beer. Cheers.